PhD aspiring candidate can have a lot of questions regarding entrance exams as doing a PhD in any particular field is no small feat. Doubts regarding PhD qualifying entrance exams, entrance exam registration, important documents like admit cards and hall tickets, syllabus, online events and procedures like form release dates, registration, etc. are very common. Mm -hmm. Right from the beginning, like eligibility, what is the basic eligibility to apply for PhD is very important. As parents are advised to always stay up to date with the latest information regarding their preferred PhD entrance exams with the help of tools like mobile, PC and notifications. The most popular doubts like what is the eligibility, what are the universities I can apply for and how to look at whether the university I can do or not and how to submit the application form and how to prepare for the entrance exam and how to face the interview. These are all the common questions all the PhD candidates may have. I'm here to solve these questions and make you clear. The very first thing is the eligibility. As a PhD aspirant, you should be you should hold the master's degree. And in some case, you may have MPhil degree, but nowadays MPhil, we are not uh, considering MPhil, like we are not doing MPhil. So you can complete your master degree. You must complete your master degree that you have to hold the master degree. Okay, on any stream that you are preferred stream. For example, if you have done your BSc computer science or B computer science, so you should have, you should have ME computer science or M tech or uh, MSE okay or MCA so some master degree you should have so this is what the basic eligibility and the next one is list all the universities so based on this see very first thing I can recommend is first check the universities which are very near you at least you can reach the universities within three to five hours for example if you are in India and that is in Tamil Nadu okay so if you are in Chennai check what are the universities which are there because you have uh, more than two or three universities in Chennai right more than three universities so you can find which is the which are the universities which you are um, which you can apply for okay if you are in some other uh, place like Trichy or E Road E road if you are in E road you can look for the universities which are very near you like you can look for Coimbatore or you can look for uh, that is any universities which you can reach within at least three to five hours of time period because you know as you are applying for the university even if it is in the college you should be able to commutate from your location from your residing place to there so you have to list the universities and that universities should be the reputed universities as well okay second third one is what you have to look for the more information about the university now i'll show you how to look for more information about the university let us consider that i have chosen bardidasan university so though i have completed phd so i am just giving you some understanding that you are going to select the bardia university for example if you are willing to Select the Bharatiya University, Bharati Dasan University. See, you have to log in to the page, okay? And in the admission admission link, you can find PhD admissions, okay? In some, so this word may vary, okay? Most probably it will be around PhD. In few universities, they may also have a separate department called R and D, okay? So you can just look for that PhD admission. Once you click PhD admission, you can just scroll and see what are all the various uh, links which are available and you can see what is the last day to submit for the online application. Okay, this is 31.7. So know this, so most of the universities will complete the online test within July. In few universities, they may extend up to August. Okay, so uh, the entrance exam schedule may vary based on the university. Some few may uh, keep it on April, May, June. Sometimes it might be Jan or February, but it will not extend more than April. Sorry, it will not extend more than August. Okay, until August. So it depends on the universities which you are going to apply for. So you have to be very clear about it. 
So here you can see in Bardhyasan University, the last date of online submission application is 31-7-2021. And the online test is on 8th, that is 22-8-2021. So once you have submitted the application form, so here you can see in that page itself, you can find all the relevant information about how to apply for online and what is the next procedure. And once you have applied and you have, you have paid the fee, so you have to pay some fees, okay. The fee also depends on the university. In few university, they may ask you for 1000 750 okay so it depends so you have to check that as well so if you click on online phd application form it will it it will take you to some other link where you can you will find various information about it okay so this is about phd entrance we are just uh, since we are looking for phd entrance here you can find because since it's closed it is showing us closed but uh, while if you are applying in the next year you can definitely find it more easy okay so here they have mentioned the cost of the application which is 1180 okay and once you have submitted they will send the hall ticket sometimes you might uh, download it online or sometimes they may also send it to your your uh, address but nowadays it is only through online you have to download it okay you can download so this is about like what see look for the more information about the university you have to go and look you have to open its website and read more about it see many will give some information for example see uh, the dates is not fixed okay this time they have extended up to 31 7 it might be due to covid it is not mandatory and it is not often that always they will be giving this date as the last date okay in the next year they may also keep it as of june so you should not rely on the information which you are hearing from others you have to go and check the website university website to confirm though it might be a very trustable you are receiving the information from very trustable person it is better to go and check because you know even they are not aware of okay everyone are not aware of what is the exact date only if they see if you see you will get more information about it and next one is you have to submit the application form online so nowadays it's completely online so you can submit it you can pay for the exam next is prepare for the entrance exam so preparation means a lot so most of the questions you know it will be from previous net exam or a set exam okay state eligibility test so if you are from tamil nadu so tn tan set it will be or set state eligibility test you can find some previous year question papers of set and prepare for that okay and uh, if you can also learn from net exam so most probably it will be from set if you are uh, from karnataka so you have a karnataka state eligibility test so you can get gather some previous year question paper from that and you can prepare for that so research the topic research is very common okay it is of course definitely they'll ask on a research topic you should be ready on the research topic as well so there is a research methodology book which is available so you can download it if you want it please message me give a message in the comment i'll definitely give you the link to download the research methodology complete book and also you can get some previous year question paper for set okay so this is how you can prepare for the entrance exam don't overstress yourself it is it will be imagine that it will be easy so you have to prepare at least to spend a half an hour of time every day before your exam and the last one is you have to face the interview so though you have decided to become a doctorate like you have to be you have decided to become a doctor okay you have decided to keep your big step into phd so what you have to do is you should start understanding what is research in the interview not everybody will exactly look like exactly look at your problem specification and it should be same till the end okay you have to show something like what you're going to do then only they will have some confidence on you so it is better to have something like what on what topic you're going to do if you're if you are a computer science stream okay so you can uh, uh, tell on what stream domain you're going to do subdomain you're going to do like an iot or a machine learning or networking so you can think about it and uh, on what cross domain you are going to do and what is your uh, what is your foresee about your research so that you can explain 
take a document have a document with you the document should consist of what is the abstract what is your idea about the research what you are going to do it in your research if possible try to um publish a paper before that itself on your idea so since i have met my i uh, went to the interview with a one paper published in scopus index because i'm very clear about what i'm i going i plan to do okay so you should also be clear like what you are going to do then only you can excel in research so research is not very tough as you think but it is also not very easy okay so whenever you are contributing towards the research completely and heartfully even research will also give you more space and it will also you can it will give you more easy space to complete the research in a timely manner so if you have more doubt on the same like what are the other things about the research you are facing some issue about it or if you are confused with you can just leave the comment i will definitely help you out thank you subscribe for more videos and share this video that so that